Uh, greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat. Finally figured out how to fix my freaking videos. Anyway, so if you guys remember a while back, a couple years or so, I made a YouTube video known as I Haven't Gotten Paid in Two Years. Ugh. Show Mark cleavage and makes the audience happy. <laughs> um, and I went on a tirade about Devin and how horrible of a boss he was. And, well, we just got some interesting little factorials. And um, I'm just going to move my mic over here while recording because that's professionalism, isn't it, Kat? Yes, it is. And I found out some interesting information. And by interesting information, he's calling to ask for the pages I've worked on. He was looking for certain stories for his next comic which apparently the printing company he was working for, the printing company that would print his stuff out, have dropped him because the comics were too violent. <clears throat> and, well, I happen to have lettered a fair amount of those stories. Apparently he had other people lettering those stories because I'm only getting paid for Juan Uno Singularity comic that I have worked on with him instead of the four. Okay? Like, we're not one. Four. One. Four. And if I remember correctly, this man owes me around th three to five K. Yes, in American. The man is going to be paying me for all my work for that for that one single sit page a hundred bucks. Because yet again, he believes that all letterers only get paid five dollars a page. From my massive amount of research on average it's 20 and he refuses to go beyond five because i am a unknown i mean with all the work i'm doing with creepy and diva and the commissions and god i hate my face um all that jazz you would think maybe that would give me a little stump up to maybe 10 maybe maybe but no i have been working for creepy and he is i want to point out creepy is the best boss ever he is polite, he is kind, he knows when to cross, he knows lines to not cross, and he never crosses them or tries his best to not cross them. Seriously, working with Creepy is great whenever I'm trying to, while I'm working on comics. He was very understanding when I got massively sick and had to, was unable to work. He was understanding when my computer had issues. He was understanding when my wrist <laughs> decided to go, fuck you. So, again, Creepy is way, way <laughs> better of a boss to work for than Devin. And also, apparently, Devin has a YouTube channel now that he's working on with his 12-year-old son. Good for him. And he's telling me to go and subscribe to him. Now, see, I'm currently weighing a little teeny tiny dilemma on one hand. I just never touch him ever again and never released a YouTube name and, you know, let everyone never find him. Or B, I say the name of the YouTube channel, and then people find out my story dealing with this guy on the YouTube channel, and let everyone basically be buyer beware And if an army of people just try to harass him, I will not be prof I will not support that at all. Just don't tell me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I'm just like... It's annoying. It's just really annoying that he's only paying me a hundred dollars of the 3k he owes me. I think it's 3k. It could be 5k. I might have added interest. The YouTube video which says I have not been paid in five in two years will cover it. And then he go talks about other comics. And then he goes, and I even asked him, what about the ones that you made me color? And he goes, made you. Those were for, you had me color for you. And he goes, those were for practice. That wasn't for money. Line number one, he said. And two, he then goes, so how's your coloring anyway? <laughs> and I was sitting there fuming. And I, I, I would like to point out, my mom was trying to be like, listen, he'll pay you. If he pays you, we should be fine. We can get rid of Devin. And I'm like, <laughs> and I am doing customer service voice, which apparently I have now. Well, I've had it for a while. Doing all the math for him and trying to be polite. Every time he talks, I start doing this to him, to the phone. <laughs> he can't see it. I'm enjoying it. Catharsis is a bad thing, I say. I lie. I don't believe that. And in the process of, you know, this, he asked me, who am I working for now? 
Now, he then asked me what my projects are. I did mention I am working for someone else, a nice boss who actually can pays me. Diva, I love you. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm Diva, who's my monthly commission. Um, I'm working for her. It's great. It's like, never heard of her. Of course he doesn't heard of her. He's a comic book guy. I, he's, who knows? And then I mentioned I was working for that long-haired creepy guy. I said a YouTube personality, and he's like, oh, which one? I was like, this one. And he goes, what's the comic about? I, I pulled out the NDA, but, like, a small, teeny, tiny, evil little gremlin that lives inside my brain goes, no, tell him in full massive detail what you're hired to do now with that long-haired creepy guy. Do it! Do it! Make him suffer! <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, you know, this is a thing now. At least I'm getting a lot more respect for uh, with who I'm working with now, which is great. But he's all like, oh, by the way, another member of our team is going to have to send you money through PayPal because my PayPal keeps getting hacked. Well, man, if you actually use a very decent password, you wouldn't have this issue. Um, but still, I am. he's like, just give me the pages, and I'm like, I'll get it when you pay me. So I'm trying to be a nice, good person and help him out and give him the pages and get pa the ones I'm paid for. If he wants the rest, he's going to have to give me more. At least he's not trying to make me basically be a fucking Girl Scout and try to sell all my stuff on my own when clearly that wouldn't work here. I just... I really don't like working... I really don't like Devin. I... His professionalism is non-existent. Like, yes, uh, the comics I do with Creepy are of an adult nature. And we do talk of an adult thing. But that's, again, that's business and it's consenting on both partners. And if anyone is uncomfortable, we will tell. Devin on the other hand ain't that type of guy. And he just thinks it's okay to talk about sex and shit whenever I, even though I'm clearly uncomfortable when he's talking about it. And I mean clearly. I repeat. Anytime he finds me around with a guy, he makes jokes about how I'm going to get pregnant with them. Or makes jokes about my body type and saying you're a small thick girl every guy should be after you I'm like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. and let's not talk about his facebook page which has a bunch of nothing against these women nothing against these women women do what you do but just he fills up the page that's supposed to be his professional page with this corny ass shit and i'm just i there are horror stories i there's two videos about all the shit that Devin has done to me and I hope if his YouTube channel becomes successful and someone finds this video, triple doubt on that, it's going to be interesting. But again, I am basically just trying my best here. I am trying to move on, trying to do the stuff with Creepy and Diva. Love you guys. And I, I'm moving on to greener pastures, although he says he wants to hire me again. And I'm like, <laughs> no. I'm not that desperate. I will I'll draw furry porn before I work with him again. Wait, I have. Fuck. <laughs> but you get the idea. So, if anyone has been actually watching this, been wanting to know an update on the saga of Doom, the Devin pain in the ass bag cog studio cycle, I think this is the third this is the third part of it now. And again, sadly, no contract. But mom was he, it's very funny. It's just, I have, I, 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 I ugh, I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> I, I was told about this right when I was about to go to bed, too, and I'm like, okay, I wasn't actually gonna go to bed. I was gonna play video games or draw more stuff. I don't know. So this is my life. Um, thanks for watching and learning this update. This update was mainly made so I can just basically explain to friends what's going on without having to type it because I'm sick and tired of typing. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching, foolish mortals. Have a good day.